Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life and I'm here today to share with you some mini charm pack projects. This video is part of a Projects with Pre-Cuts video series that we've done where I've shared projects with layer cakes, uh, jelly rolls, charm packs, and all of the pre-cuts that are available. We've either done a video or will do a video. So this is the mini charm pack video. And if you're not sure what mini charms are, they are little two and a half inch by two and a half inch squares of fabric. They come in little packs like this from Moda Fabrics and they have all of the fabrics in a collection. Some of them have duplicates because there are always 42 mini charm packs in a package. So depending on the number of fabrics in the collection, it will depend on how many of your prints have duplicates. Some other fabric companies also sell mini charm packs, but they have varying amounts and I'm, I'm not sure just on the numbers of those, but the Moda mini charm packs will always have 42. So if you want to purchase these, it's a great way to test out a fabric collection, making a project with a, a small uh, selection, uh, you know, small pieces can let you know if you really want to invest the money into buying more yardage and making a bigger project with that collection. Additionally, you can cut your own mini charms from scraps and it's super easy to just take the ends of jelly rolls strips that are left over, cut them into two and a half inch squares, or anytime you're making a project and you have a, a favorite fabric, just cut some two and a half inch squares and add them to your collection. I keep all of mine in a box uh, unless they're put in a, you know, packaged. Um, so all the ones that I cut myself, I have in a separate little box. So let's get started. I'm going to show you some of the projects today to kind of give you some inspiration for what you can make. And several of these we film videos for. Several of them have free tutorials on my blog or other blogs. And then the others have patterns and we'll give you links to everything in the description and in the blog post for this video. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the projects right here on the table. This is my patchwork gift bag that we just did a video for. It's a great project for mini charm squares. I used mini charms on the front and back, but you can also do a solid back if you want to save a little time. Uh, this is a, a key fob, a patchwork key fob that we also did a video for. And great project for mini charms, especially if you, you know, since you don't need that many, you can use leftovers from a, a larger project, or you can take one charm pack and make several key fobs all at once. This is our little patchwork zipper bag, another terrific project for mini charms. You can do both sides with mini charms or, you know, sometimes save a little time, use a solid piece of fabric for the back, but it's super cute either way. And we, as I mentioned, did just film a video for this and it shows you how to put the zipper in. Uh, this is a tutorial on my blog from a couple years ago with mini charms and so it's a free tutorial. We'll link it. You can cut the center section down from mini charms or use other scraps either way. But this is another terrific way to use your favorite mini charms. Okay, this is a mini charm project tutorial from Nana Company that I've shared before. I love my Christmas version. This one I made exactly like her tutorial. I've also made a Valentine's version and I changed the embroidery. I changed it to the Mother Teresa do small things with great love quote. And this would be super easy to do just in everyday fabric so you could use it year round as well. And so I'll put a link to that free tutorial for this pillow. Another pillow project is my family tree pillow from my Labor of Love quilts book. And it, you know, you have a lot of different leaves to put on this tree. And so it, it really helps if you can just start out with mini charm squares. So I will link that as well. Next project is one that I've made several of in several different fabric collections. This is the Blossom and Jam Table Topper by Fig Tree, and she has a pattern that I'll link. She actually has another option for kind of the center of your topper with some additional patchwork. You can do that or leave it out. 
I've just made several of these Christmas, fall, 4th of July, um, this is my spring, and I just switch them out on my kitchen table and just a fun little pattern. And I chose to leave the patchwork out, but it's super cute if you want to add it in. So I'll put a link to that pattern. This is my Summer Star Mini quilt pattern. And this is actually one I made with our first fabric collection, Bright Sun. Just a fun little mini or table topper, and it just uses one mini charm pack. So a, a really fun and fast project. I'll link to that pattern. This is another cute little wall hanging. Uh, uh, mini charm squares, this pineapple block. I, I'll double check to see if this free pattern is still available. It was a few years ago when I made it. From It's from somebody else, so I'll have to double check on that. But I also made a quilt, and I can pop up a picture of my full-size quilt that I made with several of these blocks. And uh, I just love having the little wall hanging and the quilt. So I'll I'll pop up a picture of that quilt and then I'll also see if that pattern is still available for you. Another great project for your mini charm squares are simple patchwork pot holders. And I do have a blog tutorial for making these pot holders. And uh, again, sometimes what I do just as a tip is I will sew together my 16 patches with my mini charm squares and just have them ready. And then when I have five or six, I'll make a batch of five or six pot holders at the same time. So we'll link to that tutorial as well. We'll link to that video tutorial for the pot holders so that you can watch that as well. This is a, a mini charm pack table runner. And I think I shared this in our my table runner video, but this is also mini charm squares. You make little nine patch blocks and I will put a link to this. And I'm also thinking about doing a video tutorial for this just because it is set on point. So if you'd like to see a video tutorial for this table runner, please leave a, a comment below and we'll see if we can get that filmed quickly. Oh, additionally, I'm gonna pop up a picture of a tutorial I have for a nine patch quilt that you can also use with mini charms. And I don't have the quilt anymore. I gave it to somebody, but I do have a picture of it. So I will pop up a picture of that quilt and link to that tutorial as well. And that's another free project you can do with mini charms. Okay, just to finish this out, this is the mini blossom mini quilt or table topper by Fig Tree. I made this a couple years ago, but I did check and see and the pattern is still available. And it's just one mini charm pack. Um, super cute and super fun. It would be great in any seasonal fabric or everyday fabric. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little video with a bunch of projects you can make with mini charms. They are so much fun to sew with, a great way to try out a fabric collection, and also, as I mentioned, so easy to cut from your leftover fabrics. So these are some of my favorite projects. A lot of these I've made over and over again, and I hope you'll enjoy making them too. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share it with a friend, and thanks so much for stopping by.